Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to untangle a ratchet strap. So the biggest mistake a lot of people make is they over ratchet it. It's not supposed to be ratcheted more than about two or three full revolutions. So I'm gonna bind it up real good to show you. This is probably the predicament you're in if you're watching the video, but you put it flat, and that's when you should be able to pull uh, on that long end and have it unwind and it won't because it's bunched up too much Okay, so there's a very simple way to untangle this without disassembling the entire ratchet strap So you want to go one layer up like this and the next layer under it is what you're gonna pull out And as soon as you get it loose, you're pulling that long end through so it helps to get a screwdriver under here too, if it's really tight. So if you have a screwdriver, get under there. You can do it with your fingers, but we're just getting that second layer down loose. And as soon as it's loose, then we're gonna pull that long end through, okay? So the longest part of the strap that doesn't have a buckle on the end, that's what we're pulling through. So we're gonna just pull it all the way through. And then we're gonna repeat the same process again. Okay, so now that we got it through once, we're gonna come here with a screwdriver, your finger, you're gonna pull up one level, and then under that level, that's what we're gonna grab again. So it's the same process over and over, it's very simple. Go one layer deep and pull the long end all the way through. So here we are, screwdriver in here, we pulled it up one layer and we're going for that uh, layer right under it. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull this one through again Okay, and you're just going to repeat this over and over again until you get to the actual drum itself. Okay, so keep pulling that long end through. It's going to take some working on some of it. Sometimes it gets stuck pretty good, but just pull the longer end through. Okay, now eventually you'll get down to the actual drum, okay, where you'll just see the metal part. And that's one of the hardest ones to pull through because the uh, actual strap has to be almost flat because that's how it went into the drum okay so when you get it to, to that point it's going to take some force but you'll just pull it through just like you have in the past from here just keep looping that big long end through as much as you can anytime you can get it loose to where it will pull through fold it back through and we're just working with the long end that doesn't have the strap on it so that's how it's untangled you'll just keep going and eventually you'll have nothing left it'll be uh, just the the drum itself okay now we're going to do it properly so you're going to make an a shape with it and you're going to rotate that drum till the slit is right here in the top and you're going to feed that uh, strap through the slit in the top of it and as soon as you push it through, you're doubling it straight back. So if it made an A shape, this is coming directly out of the top of it. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Here's our nice little A frame. And then the straps coming in and directly back out behind it. So the key here is when you tighten down your load, get it tight to where you're only ratcheting it about three times maximum. Okay, so that should have it tight and rolled up on itself enough. And when it's time to uh, loosen it, you're gonna open it back up until uh, it's flat. And all you have to do is pull on that long end and it will rotate the drum, you know, those two or three revolutions that you did, and then the rest of the slack comes out. Okay, so that's how a ratchet strap is intended to be used. A lot of people just keep ratcheting and ratcheting and ratcheting until they get it tight, and that's what bunches it up, and then you have to unthread it like we showed you. So again, get it tight on whatever you're securing down, and from there you're going to only ratchet it two or three times. Let it roll up on itself maybe just once or twice. You do want it to wrap on itself at least once or twice so that it doesn't uh, slide out, but uh, from there, just get it flat, and when you pull on that long, loose end, It'll rotate the drum, and uh, then you can actually just slide it right to back through that slit. So that's how a ratchet strap's intended to be used. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks, guys.